Hello folks, Jack here from Peach Guitars and I'm joined today by Mr. Ross Bailey from Yamaha Music. It's a great pleasure to have him back today. Uh, you may have seen Ross before when we shot a video focusing on the Line 6 HX effects. So thank you for coming back again Ross to offer some more insight on a completely different field of product this time. But Thank you for having me. Oh, it's, it's absolutely my pleasure and I hope you're going to be as forthcoming as you were in that particular video in certain ways though, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll leave that <laughs> unspoken. Anyway, we're here today to talk about the brand new THR version 2 and what I wanted to do in this particular video is rather than real, really delve into all the specifics of the amp and go through and twist all the controls and stuff like that, Ross has very kindly already expertly dialed in five different user memory tones I see that you can quickly access on the top uh, control panel of the amp. So he's the guy that knows this product better than me uh, so I think it's just a case of I will be your vehicle through which to explore the potentially murky waters of digital modelling amplifiers, if you'll oblige me. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're kind of really proud of this. THR's been around. We launched it 2011. Uh, the original um, regular flavour, 2012, we added the C and the X. Um, and they've just been such a great product for us. Yeah. Uh, and I, I guess that comes down to a couple of reasons. I mean, it was the first desktop amp. Um, yeah, yeah, first of its kind, I think. Yeah, it kind of you know paved the way, I guess. Um, and it was a really interesting collaboration with Yamaha Guitar Division and the AV Division. So what we wanted to create was, you know, THR is short for third. So it, it you know, the concept was it's your third amp. Okay. So you're a gigging musician, yeah, you, you know, you've got your head and cab and smaller gigs, you've maybe got a combo, yes. um, all the valve stuff and pedal boards and all the great gear. You're a gigger, you've got all that stuff, you know, it's kind of, it's a pain to get it out of the car and then set it up at home yes. before the next gig to then pack it down and then go to the next gig. So to have something that you can plug into that sounds and feels familiar, mm. um, is important and it's just convenience more than anything but what we did is actually made it look good so your wife girlfriend dog cat didn't mind it in the lounge or on the mantelpiece or something like that so mm -hmm. um but with it looking good and with it collaborating with the av division it's a hi-fi as well so if you're jamming along with backing tracks you yeah. know uh, the convenience as well um, we'll show you the top panel but you've got a guitar volume and an audio volume so you can really easily mix and match you know the guitar sound with any backing track youtube or whatever mm -hmm. um feature set wise i guess there have been things that have become available um or cost effective um like bluetooth so we now have with uh, with the version 2 we've got bluetooth capability so you can stream bluetooth audio rather than using a cable with the auxiliary input mm. um and that also lets you edit via an app so there's a right. free app um for ios or android uh that will give you uh, so on the 30 uh, you can access all the app models which we'll come back to in a minute uh, from the top panel um, there's two other models, the 10 and the 10 wireless. Uh, you can access. Um, yes, perch behind us. We can access all the amp models through the app uh, and save them to the five presets as well. Okay. You can deep edit the effects too. Um, right. So, so that's really useful. And yeah, so like I said, we've got the 10 and the 10 wireless, and we now have wireless capability. Um, so for anyone that doesn't know, Yamaha own Line 6, and Line 6 we have the Relay G10 system, which is just a super... It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah it, it it sounds perfect, you know, it sounds yeah, any bit as good as a cable, and again, it's just convenient. It's the, the easiest wireless that you can buy. Yes. Just a bug, you take it out, you plug it into your guitar, 
picks a frequency and you're good to go. That receiver is built in to the 10 wireless and the 30 wireless. Um, you buy the G10T separately and you just, yeah, you're good to go. That charges mm. on the input socket. So again, super useful. Um, the 10 wireless and the 30 wireless also have a rechargeable lithium battery internal okay. now. So you can charge it and you'll be completely wireless. So you're not tethered in any way at all? Absolutely, you can jam out in the middle of the Sahara Desert. Unless you're out gigging seven nights a week, you know, two gigs a day, and you're using all your, your big valve amps, you know. For most of us, we're at home, you know. Yeah, and sure. We've got half an hour of an evening. Mm. Uh, you know, we put the kids to bed, we've walked the dog and, uh, you know, whatever. And then you get half an hour to play guitar. Mm -hmm. and, and unless you've already set all your gear up, it's saying to one of the guys earlier it's 10 minutes to set your gear up maybe doesn't sound yeah. like a lot but if you've only got half an hour i think now this is a fairly complete package yeah and just scrolling through the tones very quickly that um ross has set up it shows how diverse it still is so basically you've got you know as many tones as you want um in one package you store them, any of them in the five presets with or without effects mm. uh, and it's just really handy like i say on the third you've got access to all those sounds on the top panel on the two tens you do it through the app um, okay which it's just easy um like i say with the app or the um computer editor you can deep dive into the effects as well so change rate um of the chorus or uh, delay feedback and mm. level and tone things like that you get access really to four different if you want to yeah yeah uh, on the top panel um it's just uh, kind of a more knob basically so i want some chorus there we go, we dial that in, mm. and I can dial in more. And that's what most people will be familiar yeah. with, but you have the option to tweak it. If you want. Further, if you want. You talked about this being developed originally like by a hi-fi specialist team. You can plug, as you said before, you can play music through it, yeah. and it's high fidelity. But also, if you're into modeling, and we talked about like the Line 6 stuff, Helix, and any of those other kind of modelers, I presume this is just a big blank canvas if you want to just plug in use the flat profile on the yeah. amp list there. Um, it's a recording interface as well. Uh, so if you want to just, you know, record something real quick, you come up with a really great riff, mm. you just plug in USB and you're good to go. And there's a really nice feature in there as well for anyone that does record regularly, where it actually sends out four tracks. So you've got stereo processed, okay. so all the amp models and effects and everything, yeah. but two dry stereo tracks as well, so you can reamp um, easy right, for okay. editing, so really handy. Um, comes with a, a code for Cubase. So it, yeah, it's it's an all-in-one package with all the amp models. Now you've got 15 guitar amp models, three bass amp models, and three acoustic models as well. That's the spiel. Uh, we got told off last time for talking too much, so, so let's stop that right now and let's hear some more of the tones. <laughs> So that sounds great to me because it will do that thing when you wind the volume up full, gives you that little bit of grit, which is really nice under the fingers. But when you back off, obviously it depends what guitar you're playing, mm. the, the cleaner notes still have a lot of punch, yeah. which sometimes they can get squashed down, so it limits your volume, but you lose that kind of attack. But actually just rolling down the volume, neck pickup, It's like budget Andy Timmons just walked into there, isn't it? It's got that real nice dynamic um, yes. kind of punch still, which I, I really like. So that's just the, the clean voice. That was kind of, um, that's sort of a model of a, like an American 6v6 okay. style. Yeah, squishy Deal. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, um, totally. That's brilliant. Um, for two, uh, this is a kind of a boutique EL84. Okay. So that's very kind of much my kind of thing normally, so I haven't actually played this one yet, so this will be first impression. Let's see what it's like.
like that very much. So that's almost, I know that's the crunch model, but that's almost like an alternative clean, isn't it? If you, yeah. if you don't want to go straight into kind of really distorted territory. Yeah, um, and I mean, the cool thing- Is I, that with the gain quite low or? Um, yeah, kind of gains around sort of one o'clock, uh, but the master is, is louder. So the, the gain and master work interactively. So if I crank the master and the gain, that's gonna get super spongy, um, possibly a little bit flubby, but we can then compensate that with the bass control. Okay, yeah, um, let's see try what that. it's like. <laughs> Pleasant because it was in my ear. It's, um, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun to play. Yeah. That kind of squish. Yeah, um, super compressed, like getting a valve amp turning it all the way up. Yeah. Um, and along then, so that was number two. Number yeah. Three. Three. Uh, this is kind of an old school British EL8, the uh, EL34 kind of thing. Okay. But again, this is another one that it's super responsive to the volume control on the guitar. So. Okay, let's test that theory. So Old school honest. rock and roll. I'm going to start low down on the guitar volume and then increase it up. <laughs> Feel, isn't it? And there's little um, little teasers of the effects and stuff in there that you've obviously put into these presets. I heard a bit of delay and yeah. reverb and stuff here and there. We're not going to go in depth with all that stuff because you know what effects sound like. But just know that they're there to sweeten up these sounds a little bit. Well, we can do that maybe with this one. So, okay. um, so this is kind of we're getting into high gain territory. Um, okay. So if you want to bring the filth, yeah. Which th th this this will bringeth some filth. I'm ready for it. <laughs> kind of prog that cool. up. Yeah. Yeah. Stereo chorus. Massive reverb. Pinch harmonic, but reverb and chorus will hide that. Such a terrible guitar player. So, I know, I know. Please don't mention that anymore. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, so chorus phaser. Which is fun, isn't it? Yeah, chorus phaser, it's fun. flanger, and tremolo as far as modulation effects. Okay. Um, good echo, you got reverb, um, hall, spring, plate, and room. Um, okay. And was that the, a bit of the hall? That, that was, was a bit of the here? hall. Um, okay. Yeah, and the kind of nice. proper stereo as well. So hopefully, when the chorus kicked in, yeah, yeah, you heard the sound go, "Oh, good morning." Yes, your heads will have expanded. Yes, uh, okay. and then for full shred. Right. Okay. Number five. 
So you said one word to me earlier, you said Nuno. So I'm not... <laughs> this was kind of, I was, yeah, I, I, Nuno was on my mind, as okay. it should be on everyone's mind. Well, I'm not going to embarrass myself here, I'm going to play slowly, just to try and emphasise what it's about. We'll see what happens. <laughs> It's got the the right attack, isn't it? Yeah, it does um, that percussive thing. Yeah, so which amp uh, was that using? So that's on the modern special mode. Um, okay. So yeah, I mean basically it's a it's a boosted um, it's a model of a boosted fifty one fifty. Ah, okay. Well, that sounds cool to me. Yeah, uh, with a bit of reverb and a bit of delay. So that's hopefully a nice little cross section of the different tones you can yeah. get. I do think that the feel is, like I said, really important. And uh, it's, this is just a continuation of what the original did really well, I think. It's yeah, we took what we've um, what we've done really well, and we've just gone have some more stuff, basically. So yeah, yeah. Well, let's wrap it up. I think if you want to find out any more about this amplifier, stay tuned to our YouTube channel, or you can hit peachguitars.com imminently if you want to find out what the cost is and all the other good bits of info that you might want to know about this THR series. As you said, this is the 30, you've got the 10 wireless and the regular 10. Yep. Uh, so pick whatever works for you, check it out. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>